data logging with the Open Flash tablet? Let's talk about that. So someone has requested for you to create a log file using your Open Flash tablet to send to them, whether for e-tuning or just to see what's going on with the vehicle. This process is extremely simple using the Open Flash tablet, so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at exactly how it's done. So to start the data logging process, we simply just want to go ahead and connect the uh, tablet to the car as if we were flashing it, and we'll head over to the diagnostic section, then we'll go to my car, and then we can head over to the real-time data display. And there we go. So now we have a display of all the information that the car is getting from the ECU. If the car was running and moving, you would actually see all these numbers changing in real time. However, we're just sitting in the driveway. So in order to start recording your data log, it's very simple. Just go and hit the little record icon there. And then now that it's recording, we can see that the little save button is now flashing, indicating that it is recording the information. So after driving around for a little bit, just go ahead and hit save. And it'll prompt you if you do want to go ahead and save a new file, we'll say yes, we'll give it a name. Go ahead and save that. And there we go, the file has been written to the tablet. And you may notice that my list looks slightly different than what yours might look like. You'll notice that mine has ethanol percent here at the bottom. By default, that is not a normal data channel. Um, so one thing I run into is people who ask me about people wanting them to revert back to the default 14 channels, which is very simple to do if you make a change or if uh, a tuner requests a non-default channel to be uh, logged, just go ahead and head over to the configure data channel. You'll see by default, the top 14 are typically the default channels, and you'll see that my air intake temp has been removed. And if I try to re-enable it, it's going to yell at me, telling there's only 14 channels. So if I want to revert back to the default, all I'd have to simply do is head down towards the bottom. Go ahead and remove my ethanol percentage. There we go. And we'll just head back up to the top. Enable air intake. There we go. Then the tablet will save that change. And if we head back over to the real-time display, we can now see there's no longer ethanol content and now we have our air intake. So that's how you would change the um, data channel if anybody ever needs you to, to do so, um, or if you've enabled something other than the default. Typically, in most e-tuning situations or like data log uh, review situations, people are going to want to see the default 14 channels. So now that our log file has been created, we can head over to the computer side of things and take a look at what we need to do in Open Flash Manager in order to get the log off of the tablet and onto our computer. So now we got the uh, tablet connected to the computer via the USB cable. So now we're just letting it run through its uh, update process. If this is the first time you've ever connected your tablet to a computer, this process can take anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. So just give this a few moments to do its thing. All right, so here we are with the tablet connected to the computer. Uh, so now we have Open Flash Manager pulled up. I'll leave a link down below in the description to where you can download the Open Flash Manager software if you do need it. Uh, keep in mind this typically is a Windows-only thing. There are workarounds to work with Mac. Mac. However, it's kind of buggy and not the safest bet. So if you only have a Mac laptop, try to bar someone's Windows computer. So now we'll go ahead and head over to the data logging section. And then we'll go ahead and select download all files from OFT. So as you can see, we have all of the uh, log files saved here. And this is the one that we had just created outside uh, during the video portion. So we can go ahead and load up the log. And it'll show all the information that it saved of us sitting in the driveway for a few moments. So now all you need to do is go ahead and hit export selected file. And then from here, you would simply just give it a name. Then just go ahead and save your log file. So now that we've used the Open Flash Manager to get the log file off of the tablet, now you can go ahead and email that off or send it however. Now you should be good to go with the data logging process. So there we go. There's virtually everything you would possibly need to know about data logging with the Open Flash tablet. If you guys have any issues, questions, or anything like that, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do everything I can to help you out. And as always, I'd like to thank each and every single one of you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe for more mediocre content such as this, uh, please do and take care.